Now let's work on some more examples graphing quadratic functions in standard form. Now we did one example using a data table. And there are some other things that you may need to find, such as the x-intercept and the y-intercept. But I think it's still good to like put that information in the form of a data table. It's simply helpful. The first thing we should do is find a vertex, which is negative b over 2a. b is negative 4. a is the number in front of x squared, so a is 1. So this is going to be 2 times 1. So that's going to be positive 4 divided by 2. So the vertex has an x value of 2. Now let's just put that in the data table. Now let's find a y value when x is 2. So 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3. So that's 4 minus 8 plus 3. 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 3, that's negative 1. So that's the y value of the vertex. Now let's find the x-intercepts. In order to find the x-intercepts, set y equal to 0 and factor. Two numbers that multiply to 3 but add to negative 4 are negative 1 and negative 3. So it's going to be x minus 1 and x minus 3. Therefore, the x-intercepts are 1 and 3, which means x is 1, y is 0. So we have the points 1, 0 and 3, 0. Now let's find a y-intercept. To do that, replace x with 0. So you can see that it's going to be 3. So we have the point 0, comma 3. Notice that these two are the same because they're equally distant from the vertex. So if we have the point 0, 3, then when x is 4, y must be 3 as well. Because 0 and 4 are equally distant from the vertex. So now we have everything that we need in order to graph this function. So let's plot it. Starting with the vertex, it's 2, negative 1. And then the x-intercepts are 3, 0, and 1, 0. That's where it touches the x-axis. The y-intercept is 0, 3. That's where the curve touches the y-axis. And we have the point 4, 3. And so the graph is going to look something like this. We can see that the axis of symmetry is x is equal to 2, the x coordinate of the vertex. The minimum value is negative 1. And so the range will vary from negative 1 to infinity. And the domain is always going to be the same all row numbers. And so that's it for graphing functions in standard form.